Hello and welcome to another episode of my let's play of Against the Moon, as always on Against the Moon Monday. Last week we started the fifth Luma run and well we made it this far but it has been really hard already. So um, yeah we're in sector 2 almost at the end. We got two Altari upgrades already and we will get another one if we can make it through the next stage. Yeah, I, I hope we can do that. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I really hope that I don't screw up, but even if I don't, this might be hard. Okay, we got Shibos. I think I can deal with them. They are definitely not the worst. But we got loads of damage in the center here, which I don't like because Sophia was just upgraded and helps us draw more cards. So I don't want to lose that. I also don't want something to spawn here, that would be horrible, but uh, well, let's see how it goes and start with placing units. I mean, we should be able to get enough damage here to defeat one Shibo and then they are all gone. That's good, I think it works. Yeah, mm, yeah, more than enough actually. That is, that is cool, okay. Um, well then, let's get some damage out here. You go first. Yes, that makes sense. Then we play the Siren. And we play it here though. We just need two more damage here. We can easily get that with uh, one of these. Uh, so let's not waste this one here, because this one will die anyway. Okay, so you go on another lane and protect someone, I guess. On the other hand, this one would survive if we place it on another lane. That is good too. Would it though? No, it wouldn't. I would have had to place this one in the center then. Yeah, thinking ahead is hard. <laughs> oh well, this is still alright. Well then, let's take some damage off of Amara, I guess. I don't know, maybe off Galdir. Galdir is more important than Amara. Okay, let's, let's do this. I hope it doesn't target this one. And it didn't. Cool. So, yeah, let's take out one Shibo, which means taking out all Shibos. That's good. Good start. More Shibos, but also a chance for more energy. Uh, huh. Well, placing this one on the top would be enough uh, to take out this one, but then we still have these around, which I don't like. Uh, we could also decide just to block this one's damage, because we, well, this one will always be accessible and the Shibos might not be. So it might be wiser to just take out, oh, wait, we can, can take out both actually. Ha, huh. well that's awesome. Then let's do that. Placing this one here, and the one that costs less on the top lane, then we're good. Taking out both. Cool. Okay. Looking good. Charging our ultimate here. That should be quite helpful. Okay, we got a manga. Increase Luma cost of all Magicka powers by one. Increase Luma cost of all minions by one. Okay, that's not nice. Eh, I guess we can work with it. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, let's start by drawing powers. <laughs> that can't hurt. Um, okay. Well, we definitely want to protect Amara. same time we definitely want to take out this one I suppose. On the other hand, I guess hurting this one enough to beat it with the ultimate might be good too. Um, well 
let's see. Let's not make any rash decisions here. Um, would be very hard to take this one out, I think. So, playing this would protect Amara and yeah, basically set this one up to be destroyed, so that's good already. I guess that's what we should do then. Yeah. Seems reasonable enough. And then we can still hurt the champion over there. And deal with the one down there later, next turn. Okay. Yep, next turn the ultimate of the arcs is ready. That that should be helpful. Yes, taking out this one is definitely nice. Also taking out the Shibos and hurting this one. Nice, nice. Yeah, let's do that. Um, rage cannon time. use this while it's still cheap I guess ah, worst one oh well I think we got this yeah let's play the more expensive one and yeah, we're almost where we want to be. Okay. Can we finish this? We have a nice alpha bot that uh, might might be useful. Mm. Hmm. But at the same time we want to protect our minions and stuff. Huh. Maybe let's play this one here. Play another one and then use the virtual eyes, or just play this one and use the virtual eyes. Uh, if we place this one here, at least that's already one more damage. So that's nice, I guess. Um, I mean, Amara can die, that's not really important to prevent anymore. Yeah, so let's do it. Not really what I was going for, but uh, whatever. Then let's save Amara, I suppose. Yeah, sure, why not? Am I screwing this up right now? I think I might be. Let's let's not do that. Let let Amara die and just finish this turn. And just work on not taking any damage here. Just taking it slow. We can take this one's attack. That's good, I guess. Can also virtualize yet another minion. I guess that's also good.
right. Uh, okay, then let's place this one here. Okay. Once again, need to prevent some damage up top, but we can do that. Um, hmm, but this one would still die. That's sad. I guess then let's use the Vendigo, or well, that wouldn't prevent all the damage. We could also use this, which would help us not die. Yeah, that's a good, good call, I think. Um, hmm, this means this. Nice little alpha bot dies. Oh, okay, now I know what the problem is. It summons a copy of itself at the end of the turn, but at the start of my turn, its attack reverts to two. Okay, yeah, that's why I remembered it not being awesome. <laughs> because it, uh, yeah, kinda isn't. But hey, no, it's in our deck. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, we're getting there slowly, but we're getting there. We can take out this one easily next turn with the Vendigo. So Shibos won't be a problem. Yeah, that's good. Let's start by doing that. Taking out all the Shibos and then we should, yeah, we win. Just need some protection here, then we're good. doing this but doing it regardless someone corrupted galop where x equal to amount of luma plus one it says but it never does plus one at least so far i don't think it ever did or i just was super confused all the time Oh well, we win this. Let's not uh, delay this any further. <laughs> I realize that I actually prefer being in the other corner here. Hmm. It's not really docking to the corner. That's not great. Why is that? Um, I have to do this first. Yeah, now it's better. Still not really docking to the bottom, but that's okay. All right, fix that, I suppose. <laughs> because here I'm blocking less stuff and now things might get interesting. So I guess it's better to be in this corner. Wait, am I a bit uh, floaty here or not? It's really hard to tell. No, I guess I'm good. Okay, um, new stuff. The Pulsar I really like, so let's just pick up that. Uh, and another Altari upgrade. Yeah, I wasn't sure about this one. Turn six, everything is free. <laughs> um, or frequent damage to the enemy leader. Guess everything is free can be super awesome. Especially now that I'm drawing more powers. So yeah, let's let's go with that and try not to forget for a change. Okay, time to heal our arcs at least a little bit, as much as we can, and fight another Furos Delecti. Here we go. Oh 
Okay, this is not the worst thing that could have happened. Um, what about these, though? Uh, okay, blocking my ultimates. Yeah, I don't like that. But we can work with this. Yeah, we got this. I guess this uh, would be our best damage dealer in a way, but we might have better uses for this one later. So I guess could also use this one. Okay, and we can draw something. Okay. Um, unstable mesh or pulsar. I guess a pulsar does the trick here. I mean, I can't use any ultimates right now, but that's okay. So we already got quite a bit of health taken off of this one. That's good. Amara and Galdia are suffering a little bit. That's not good, but let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, we got two virtualizers. That will be really helpful, I think. Um, could just play the Tartalo and use the two virtualizers. Worst thing that could happen is it hits this one, which wouldn't be great. Also, this one here is a problem, but I think, I think we might have to take that. We can just place the Tartalo on the top lane here. That should help, keeping us alive there. Um, could also place it down here and finish this one off right now. Yeah, maybe I should do that. And then whatever I can do with these, I can spawn up here. Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Problem is, the Tartalo will die like this down here, but I mean, maybe we can even prevent that. We'll see. Depends on what we get here. Like uh, what the virtualize actually virtualizes. That is a good start. I'm gonna put this one up here. And yeah, I guess whatever I get, I can put it on the bottom lane and then I'm good there too. Nice. Oh, and it's not even the worst case scenario. <laughs> cool. All right. Tartalo stays alive. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. Damn, this is not nice. Spawned in the worst spots possible. Hmm, like blocking the access to the others. I don't like that. But hey, it is what it is, I suppose. So let's start playing units here. Um. Well, I guess first order of business is keeping Amara alive right now. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use any ultimates. I have to remember that. That would be the worst mistake to do right now. Um, so yeah, I'll try not to do that. <laughs> this is not quite keeping Amara alive because it just boosts these two. Uh, what? Uh, crap, it made one of these cheaper. Not what I was going for. I was hoping for, well, anything but the unit, so I guess for the virtualizers. But that didn't happen. Sad. Well, I guess that means we can at least play the unstable mesh as uh, the actual thing and not as a virtualized thing. That's cool. Because then we still have enough to play these two. 
On the other hand, if we preserve more Luma, we can also play the Glob Warp. Yeah, let's do that. I guess it doesn't make a huge difference if they're virtualized or not right now anyway. They will probably die if I put them in the front row. Uh, yes, yes, they will. Um, okay. And a Glob Warp, just for the damage. Yeah, I was just thinking I should have put this one in the back row. Okay, it actually did get plus one. Okay, okay. I haven't said anything. Nice, cleared the board. Okay, against Magicas. Works for me, I guess. Um, I guess I don't use all my... all my Luma this turn. I mean, this works right now, so... Let's not rush into anything. I think we're good here. This is looking quite all right. Mm. Yeah, playing this one is enough to take care up here of the enemy. Mm. Or I just play it here and use Amara's ultimate and we're done. That's better. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 almost made a mistake, but um, I think we can still be done here. <laughs> uh, just gotta play it smarter than that. Almost made that mistake. Why do I keep forgetting about their ability to block my ult? Uh, okay, we can't quite get through here right now, but next turn, I suppose. <sighs> Whatever, let's just let this one die, I don't care. Oh wait, only one? Okay, so this one still dies. <laughs> eh, whatever, next turn should still be alright. Yes. Oh yeah, of course, now we could actually have also used the ultimate to finish things off, but we got this. Okay, Sector 3, here we go. Nice, nice. More Luma Flow, that will be quite helpful. Okay, final part of the run. So, um, I'll just take the Unstable Mesh, they are quite helpful. No mutations, no upgrades, so I guess it's just back to the map. And healing the arcs. I'm actually quite happy that we get the chance to heal. I really don't know here, um, maybe, maybe I should just take the path, avoiding all the hard battles. This would be another Altari upgrade, but I think we got the most important stuff anyway. So maybe I should skip on this, especially since it's just before the final battle. Yeah, that might screw us over. So which paths do we have? We could go down here and then back up, question mark, and down here. So the end is basically set. We have to go in this path here. It's only only question is which do we go first, meta cube for a mutation and remove a, uh, a power or this to restore arcs 8 HP most probably. I guess I just like another mutation. Yeah, let's do it. We'll get uh, 
sarcophagus charges here too, so that's gonna be fine. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay. Got it. So... Sadly, we can only take out one of these. Mm. Well then, let's take out the one up here, I think. get more damage out though and stun this one and protect Amara so let's do that too to hopefully find a solution for this one next turn yeah this looks good Yes, nice. Oh, <laughs> well, this might become a problem still, but at least we can take out the one that's boosted already. So that's a start. We got a lot of virtualizers here. I uh, guess that's hap like that's gonna happen when you put so many into your deck. But whatever, this is all right. At least the center lane is clear. Uh, well, let's. And do something about the bot lane, I guess. Um, at least we can take out one more of them. Something. And we can deal some damage to the Furos leader. That's also nice. And well, maybe we can. No, we can't use Amara's ultimate next turn. Meh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, only two of them survived. I guess that's. Still okay. Well, the second behemoth spawned and okay, well we have to put something in front of it anyway. Also in the top lane to take this one out. Uh, bottom lane is a problem though. Mm, well, we have this the Remuro strategy. Uh, that should be helpful. This is interesting now. I guess we could use Galdia's ultimate to be able to play as like both minions here without using the virtualize, although it doesn't really make a difference. We can just use the virtualize. I mean it will die pretty pretty much certainly I guess. I don't know. We could use this one. Uh, yeah, well, if we place this one up here, then Sophia won't die and this one will also survive, so that's good. Also, will it defeat this one? Not quite. That's bad. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Really don't want to let this one go through, but I don't know if we can do much about it. I mean, of course we can, but then one of these two will die. Because we just don't have uh, the amount of minions we'd like to have. Yeah, well then I guess these five damage will have to reach Amara at least. Amara is still alive and everyone is basically yeah, so I guess that's what we're going for then. Damn. Hmm. Wait, I should 
probably put this one here and then the Tartalo on top right. But the Tartalo will only be able to defeat the one on top if I don't virtualize it. So Tartalo goes unvirtualized up here. Uh, well, we'll only take... Oh no, we'll... No, on top it will die. Um, although I could use this. Oh man, these decisions. I guess I really want to take out the Behemoths. I don't want to risk uh, them getting super strong here. Okay, then I guess let's do that. Hmm. But then I have to virtualize this one and this one would take no damage on the bottom lane if I use it correctly. Oh man. Or I just use Galdias Alda after all. Could also use Sophia's ultimate. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Add one Luma, draw five powers. I could just virtualize these two and say, screw it. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> okay, decision made. I think that's actually a smart way to do things. Virtualize number one. You protect the top lane. And we will have another minion to add up here, so that's cool. Virtualize number two. Defeat the one in the back there. And stun this one. Good. We could still weaken enemies if we wanted to, but I actually don't think we really have to. Yeah, let's just see what we draw here. I feel like that's a good idea. All right, works for me, I think. Um, yeah, we can place this one in the center. That's pretty neat. Um, could steal this one's attack for a turn or just defeat it. Yeah, I guess we just defeat it. So this one's taken care of and... Now we can place this one here in the front to take care of the rest, basically. This one's not dead yet, but getting close to it. And this one will probably get an attack in next turn, but that's okay now. I mean, Amara is still okay. This one gets taken out, this one gets taken out. It's all right. Okay. Uh, can we actually steal this one's attack? Or will it instantly be stunned? Let's find out. Can't steal it. Sad. Well... At least now we know. Um, this top lane looks horrible. Let's do something about that. Uh, I mean, this lane doesn't look much better, but at least this one we can take care of, I guess. Um, yeah, let's put this one here. Hmm. I mean, they are almost all dead here. Maybe we should just draw more cards, powers, whatever. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this one is not too helpful. Could play the Tartalo. That would mean that, uh, well, at least these are all taken care of, I think. Yes, that's five extra damage. That's just enough. All right, then let's do that. Uh, I guess here is good. 
we could still spawn a random one one unit maybe it spawns up here and then they would all be taken care of too i mean this one in the back i can't even defeat with a wendigo so let's take the two-thirds chance yes worked perfect good one i like it Ooh, two at once that is mean Huh. Well, I guess we better hmm, better do something about that then. The question is just what. Could start with this one, get Galdia's ultimate ready so that we can play yet another one. So that we can... Hmm, well, one of them will die. But... I mean, if we want to take out a behemoth, which I do want... Um, I guess Sophia can die. It's sad, but I think we can work with that. So we'd put this one... Oh, well, it's random. Crap, that's a problem. Let's just hope for the best. Yes, that was the best. So yeah, now we can put um, this one down here to defeat the behemoth. Nice. And this one in the center lane to protect Amara. Yes, that works. And Sophia will die, but at least no damage to the arcs and no extra behemoth. So... It's not looking super amazing, but it could be much worse, I think, and the bottom lane looks really good. Eh, doesn't look as great anymore. <laughs> ah, whatever, only the front unit will die, that's still okay. Um, oh, it's turn six! Eh, I forgot, but it doesn't matter, it still works out. <laughs> ah, okay, let's place the alpha bot back here um, I guess I don't want another unit in in here so all the others will go on the top lane right now I think yeah that should work um, let's take this one's attack could draw more powers, I mean, won't hurt. Um, okay, well I could get five more damage on this one. Sounds like a good idea. A knight and some damage on the leader too. Yeah, this turn six uh, definitely made things uh, a lot more pleasant already. Okay, <laughs> that was not quite according to plan, but whatever. Um, yeah, well, I can't really play anything, you know, so... <laughs> guess we don't, I mean, except for the assault pattern. But it's okay, no one dies, except, I mean, my, my bot lane is pretty much uh, getting pummeled, but this one is almost dead, so we're fine, Amara's ult will be ready. Another battle won, I think. Yeah. Um, done. <laughs> nice. All right. happens. So we got a new power. Eh, 
None of these, please. This works. Can remove a power. Do we have too many virtualizers? Sometimes I feel like we do. Like last time, last battle, <laughs> we basically had only virtualizers on the hand. <sighs> Could also remove the sirens. I don't feel like they are really that helpful. Yeah, I think I like them less. And I think the chance to really have four virtualizers on the hand is still pretty low, despite having that many. So, um, don't think we need to boost any minions. So, we can just upgrade another one of these Thurgo symbols to a Thurgo Mandala. What was this? Oh yeah, activate the ultimate to use all energy. Hmm. Uh, I mean, this is quite strong, obviously, if you upgrade it, but... Hmm. Nah, no, I'll just pick another mandala. Having powers on the hand is quite helpful. No Altari upgrade, so back to the map it is, and uh, oh well, we do have another choice. I was mistaken, we can decide if we go here or here first too. We will end up here either way. So, sarcophagus charges or permanent HP boost. Since we are pretty close to full HP anyway, let's let's go with the Arx HP boost. Yeah. Hey, looks rough. And Amara is stunned. That is not helping. Oh well. Mm. Or we'll figure this out. For example, by putting one unstable mesh down here and one here. Sadly, this one will die. So we could also consider using this and letting Amara take a bit of damage. But yeah, unstable mesh down here is, I think, a pretty safe bet. Maybe back here, because it will be low on health after this attack here. Then, yeah, Galdia can, oh wait, Amara can take a bit of damage, I guess. Yeah, I think I want this one's uh, higher health for another day where it could actually survive the attack. Okay, here we go. Have to remember, turn six will be will be the turn <laughs> if I can keep Galdia alive so that should be a top priority at least until turn six but obviously in general because Galdia is our unit booster and this doesn't look too good on the top lane <laughs> okay uh, what do we do what do you do don't play powers that cost two or less uh, that will be a problem crap Damn! I mean, protecting Galdia is not the issue right now. We can just put this one, I don't know, here. But Amara still dies right now. But if I play a power now, these will get stronger and be an even bigger problem. <sighs> Damn. 
Um, I have so many cards that allow me to draw cards, which would be awesome if these suckers wouldn't be around. Also, the virtual eyes could be so helpful if I draw something fitting, but then I still have to put a unit down here and here to protect both of them, because, like, the boost from even one of these will put the top lane over the edge and destroy Galdir. Uh, I think I'll just end the turn here. Crap. I, I have, like, a deck built around high cost units and they still hurt me so much this is horrible please a vendigo yes thank you okay so at least this one's taken care of and then i can play freely again at least for a while that's cool all right then Let's see. Um, guess drawing two powers is enough for now. And then I can use the virtualizers, hopefully. Because hopefully I will draw units. We'll see. Or I can use Galdir's ultimate or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah, question is Galdia's ultimate or virtual eyes? This one could survive easily, um, but then I would have to play this one first or Galdia's ultimate might hit this one, which I don't want. Okay, let's put this one on the top lane first and then use Galdia's ultimate, I think. And then we can still draw more stuff if we want to. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. So yeah, now we can use this and then hopefully virtualize yet another unit for the bot lane. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't hit this, uh, this one, I mean. We'll see. Ah, nice. Perfect. <sighs> Not enough to take this one out, but at least it blocks the damage and deals some. So that's a good start. Maybe I get super lucky with this one. Because if it ends up down here, this one will be taken out too. Let's give it a shot. Eh, too bad. Okay, stunning Sophia. Oh wait, you didn't. You did stun Galdia, but that's still okay. Stunning one of the Altari is like the best thing that can happen here. And... Hmm... <laughs> and I got a plan. This one can steal this one's attack, so... It doesn't really matter if it gets stronger. That's nice. Just, uh, yeah, can't forget to use it or like... Uh, use too much Luma and then mess it up or something. Then we will be fine, I think. Uh, okay, so how do we do this? Top lane is taken care of. Middle lane needs some help. Bot lane needs some help. We got a plan for the bot lane. sufficient yes okay you 
using the Tartalo seems like a good idea in general. I think it's just, well, in the center lane it would die, which I don't like. Could just take some damage on the arcs, wouldn't be the end of the world. But it also wouldn't be great. Could try to use the virtualize and see what happens then. Yeah, you know what, I think that's a good idea. Let's just see what it hits. Okay, that one. <laughs> Not really the one I was going for, but okay, you multiply. Okay, that's a start. I guess we use the virtual ice again then. I hope I'm not overlooking something here. Okay, we got a nice Tartalo. Virtualized, blocking loads of damage here in the center. Nice, nice. We can theoretically draw more cards if we want. Cards, powers, whatever you want to call it. Um, we have to keep in mind we need one homunculus to take care of this one. Can't block this spot. <laughs> Things to remember. Um, that should be the last thing we do. I'd also really like to protect this one here. I mean, it's not the strongest unit, but still nice to have around. Right now it would die, and I think we can prevent that. So maybe let's start by drawing more stuff and see what we get. Okay, we can't use those. Because <laughs> then we wouldn't have anything left for the homunculus. This one will die too, that's good. Sophia will take two damage, but that's not a huge deal. So we still have the option of uh, taking this one's attack right now and therefore keeping this one alive. But I think there's better uses for a homunculus. Uh, so I guess let's not do it. The Vendigo is not really worth that much after all. So let's just deal some damage and play the homunculus. Okay. Yes, that's how it works. Cool. Good one. Yeah, seems like this time we can't play two cost stuff because we can't mirror this one. Mm, that's okay. I think we can manage. So it will die anyway, that's a good start. Sadly, my copied bot will die too, but there's nothing I can do about that, I think. Oh, well, there is. I could use this one, but uh, yeah, then I would boost this one. And even though we could prevent probably Galdia from dying, even if this one is boosted, I don't want this to happen. So let's do this differently. Vendigos should do the trick, right? Or I could even use a Pulsar here. Get some energy. Oh, and then it's turn six. <laughs> Love it. Alrighty. Yeah, I think we got this. 
We only need to deal four damage right now. And this is not even a tough crowd. <laughs> Good. I like it. So let's just play stuff randomly. I think we're good here. I mean more or less randomly. Still would like uh, not to take any damage on my uh, on my arcs. But that's not hard to achieve. Yeah, this is overkill deluxe. Cool. <laughs> Another victory. Yeah, if you make it to turn six and have enough minions on your hand, that's uh, almost already a victory, I guess. I mean, it uh, depends. It can still be pretty tough. But worked out well this time. So I don't think we want any of these. I mean, the Volatile Barrage is nice, but... Hmm. Okay, Thurgo Symbol. <sighs> I don't like you. Question mark time. Start the event. Moonskate. Uh, short range sensors were on the fritz. Next sector dark zone. Sophia decided to head out on her own and look to the sky for answers. Moon is huge. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Fell into a trance. No more did she sense the cold. Heart stone beneath her. Yes, she read the moon. Dreadful mistake. Sophia ceased to exist and was dying. She was born in the early morning. They found Luma and Tech Daltari together, traveled thousands of feet above. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Mind melted. And she began to scream. Let her be. If any Thurgo can overcome it, it's Sophia. Luma flow plus one. Sophia loses one attack and two HP permanently. But we have one more Luma. Help her. Starting hand plus one. More Luma or more cards? Uh, I guess since this also weakens Sophia, let's just take the starting hand. I mean, this is all good and not anything negative, so that's awesome. Um. Yeah, and here we can even get a, an even bigger starting hand. Isn't that lovely? Cool. Don't have enough uh, sarcophagus charges to heal, but that's okay. We didn't lose anything, I think. So let's continue. We're getting close. Would be really cool to manage, uh, manage this on the first try for once, but we'll see if that works out. Okay, what do you do? Recall random player's minion. No, don't do that. <laughs> I think we can prevent that from happening. So what do we need to do is probably put this one here. I mean, that would work. Would deal enough damage, certainly. Only problem is... Um, that it would also die. But I don't like it when they die. Hmm. If I had one more Luma Flow, I could also use the Virtualize, but eh, eh, I guess it will die then. Too bad. Well, not much we can do about that. At least, no damage. Go to the back, because you will be down to one health. At least you survive, that's good. Don't like that these two survive, but it's fine. <sighs> I 
Okay, one damage to all minions on the battlefield. Of course you do. I mean, we could take it out. On the other hand, maybe, maybe it's not the worst thing to happen. But, I mean, just in general, it might be nice to have a super strong center lane. I mean, by playing this and this, maybe. I guess, why not? Yeah, and then let's just place this free 1-1 one, one minion somewhere. Maybe it can take out one other Fungari on top. No, it can't. But it protects Sophia. That's fine. Ooh, Galdia is almost dead. We should do something about that. But uh, we can. <laughs> uh, placing this Tartalo up top, for example. Mm, on the other hand, uh, maybe we can play around with the virtualizers a bit. That might be wiser. Because, I mean, first order of business should be taking out this one down here. And now the question is just play the Vendigo or start virtualizing, virtualizing stuff or just place two Fungari. That would also work. I don't know, I guess I'll just go with the Vendigo, because it will survive, it's uh, gonna, deal some, gonna deal some damage. I suppose that's good. Galdia is safe too. Yeah, and I mean we're getting closer and closer to turn 6, which will be nice. We're dealing also loads of damage to them. So I'd say so far this is going quite well. Just a bunch of Fungari right now. Maybe we can even... Can we win already? Probably, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this would be 4 damage. This would be... I mean, we can place this and then just go for... Um... Go for 2 Virtualizers and see what happens. Maybe we get lucky. Nope, not this time. But at least we keep this one alive. And yet another virtual ice, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. We are so close to victory. Okay, not lucky again. That's okay. I think we're fine. Yeah, we can just use Amara's ultimate and be done. Cool. Quick win once again. Wow, you're getting close. <sighs> okay, another assault pattern. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I think I want to re-roll. Damn, this is not what I was going for. But hey, I guess the Thurgo symbol isn't, isn't that bad. Or will I remove it? Or will I remove this? I don't know. It has been kind of useful and I guess you can always play it even if you're down to zero Luma, so that's cool. Yeah, I guess I'm going to keep it. Uh, I just remove what I just added. I mean, that's a lot of Thurgo symbols we have here, and I don't think we actually need that many. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just keep the deck like it was. 
Okay. I could get another Altari upgrade, but I'm too scared. I'll just take the easy path here and hope that this one won't be too hard. Don't really don't want to risk this. So two meta cubes, arcs HP and remove power, that's quite strong anyway. And we can heal right now. That's nice. Almost full HP. Nice. Two more battles. I think we have a chance here. If we don't encounter horrible enemies, what are you? Oh. You're not horrible. You're quite nice, actually. <laughs> well, um... We still want to take out one of these Shibos to take out all of these Shibos. Question is, can we do that? And... Um, and survive. Uh, like Amara would die right now and I really don't like that. Uh, I guess we could play the Tartalo, use the Virtualize and use this here to weaken enemies. Sounds like a plan. I mean, because if we play this and one other minion, it should be enough, right? This one is five, this one is three. It's enough to get rid of this one. Okay, then. Here we go. Huh, could have even taken out these two just by placing two regular units because that would have been 10 damage plus the one damage from Amara would have been enough. But this works too, I guess. So let's just continue with the original plan. Hmm. Nice, nice. Um. So Amara is safe and the Sheeples are taken out. taken out by a Vendigo now. Well, if I had drawn one, that would have been good. Damn. You're a problem. <laughs> yeah, but I guess it could be worse. Let's see. Guess we want to take out this one or this one. Any of them. Yeah, we want to do a lot of things. Those things might be hard to achieve. Right now, Galdia and Amara would die. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think this one has to be on the top lane. Because a virtualized unit probably won't be enough to protect Amara from death. Uh, I'm not gonna place this one in the center because I still hope for a Vendigo to turn up. So I guess you just go back here. Doesn't really matter, you die, I forgot about that. Fair enough. Guess we virtualize now. some protection for this lane. Hmm. Well then, let's draw. Hmm. This is nice. I mean, this one has the highest attack. So, it would make sense to target it, I suppose. Yeah. Won't be enough to take out the Shibo, though. But maybe we get super lucky with this. 
still draw more. Let's do that first. I think I'll use this and this and then I'll still have three spots open for drawing next turn. Hmm, and we get another virtualize. That's kind of what I was hoping for, I think. <laughs> Alrighty then, that means we can take this one out. That's awesome. Nice. Alright question is do we want to do that or do we wait and just block the damage here and take this one out so we can play units for the regular price again I think I want to do that and maybe some more Shibo spawn and then we can take them easily out as long as we somehow find access to this one of course but I think that's we have a good shot of that actually happening <laughs> Sadly didn't spawn down here. That would have still been nice, but eh, it's okay. This was a good turn for sure. More Shibos. Not accessible, of course. <laughs> huh. Huh. What do we do now? We have a virtualize ready basically only have to protect Galdia and Amara from not too much damage. Oh, it is kind of accessible actually. Can't instantly take it out so they will get to attack but it could be worse. <sighs> okay. Let's play this one then virtualize something. Um, I think... Because if we play anything else, uh, well, we won't be able to play this one then. The question is, would this one survive anywhere? And I guess that's a no, which I don't like. Could use Galdia's ultimate, but I kind of want to wait with the alts because Amara might get pretty powerful or Amara's ultimate or just like the arcs or I might need Sophia even. So I guess this one just has to die and we'll place another one on the top lane to protect that like a virtualized one. Okay then, that's what we do. And the Shibos will be gone after that, so that's nice. Also, these will be gone, Galdir will be more powerful. Yeah, I like it. Virtualize time. Okay, more energy, I like that. And Amara is safe too. And we get some damage dealt to the enemy. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> well, okay. You're making things hard for me, I see. But at least we can deal some damage for free. Draw some more powers and see what that does for us. Hmm, we get a virtualize. That is helpful. So... We could actually place the Tartalo and use the Virtualize. That would be nice. We could also use the Vendigo, take this one out instantly, boost Amara's attack through that, also take out some damage instantly. But the Vendigo would still die, which is never good. Um, hmm. Well, I would really like to take out one of these at least right now that is hard if i want to save amara at the same time hmm. 
actually it's, it's hard in general even if i <laughs> even if i say screw amara which i don't think i'm gonna do hey you know what i oh wait this would also die on the top lane i don't like that Okay, then maybe we put the Vendigo on top and then virtualize something and just hope for something awesome to happen. Let's see. I guess this is kind of cool. Despite the fact that it dies. Hmm, we got some energy. I like that. <sighs> we... Hmm. Could keep this one alive by placing it anywhere. Uh, well, placing it here. <laughs> this is the only spot, not anywhere. Um, but I think we gotta try to... Oh wait, this is virtualized. It won't survive anyway. Ooh, brain, stay awake. So let's just block some damage to Galdia and deal some damage to this one. And Amara will get even stronger. And our Arc's ult is ready and next turn will be turn 6. Works. <laughs> That's that's pretty epic, actually. We can block the damage down here and take it out at the same time. Cool. Amazing. Ah, nice. Next turn, all my minions will be free. Seems like another win. Like it's almost all, already almost one, so. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Cool stuff. Um, I don't know, do I even have to think about this? I don't think I really do, but. I think we can't really break through, can we? Maybe with the Vendigo? Yeah, I guess that should be our priority r right now, how to break through. I guess the Vendigo... Oh yeah, that's, that, that, that works. We have lots of damage on the uh, Altari. Kind of forgot about that. Yeah, then it's not really that hard. Yeah, this is enough damage now just to protect us. Which is definitely the easy part. Eh, I'll just... <laughs> Put out everything. Nice. Yeah, this was a nice synergy, like getting the ult ready in turn 5 and having loads of minions on my hand in turn 6. That was best case scenario. Cool, final battle. Would be really epic to do this on the first try, but even if we can't, even if this ends up being um, like uh, a first try where we at least make it to the final boss, it's cool. Let's reroll and if it sucks, just take out whatever we get, but I think I'm cool with the Pulsar. Collect it. I don't think I want to remove anything right now. I think I like all this stuff. Yes. Ooh, we get upgrades. Well, I like the upgraded Thurgo symbol even more. Worked quite well for us so far. So let's let's just keep it going. Missing anything, everything else that I typically upgrade in regards to minions is upgraded. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. 
final battle, here we go. I'll try not to lose my focus. What are we up against? Ah, okay. Okay, what are you... Uh, okay. <laughs> not that nice, but... Guess we just gotta take them out quickly. And not use this one. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see. Huh. This is enough for, well, protection and defeating them all. So that's a good start, I guess. And then we can try to virtualize something. Hopefully not this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it wasn't that one, but it still wasn't great. Actually, the only one that would help is actually, yeah, it's, it's this one. Uh, well, let's continue, I guess. Do we want to draw first? Cannot be targeted, but does it still work on them if I don't have to target them? That's an interesting question. So many unanswered ones. I mean, maybe they have been answered and I just forgot, but... Huh. Okay, that is nice. Helpful, helpful, helpful. Maybe we still draw some cards then. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just put this on the center lane, or I guess top lane is the priority here, because Galdia has to survive. So, I don't know, center you go. Alright, good first turn, I suppose. if you die anyway. <laughs> uh, damn. What do we do with you guys? Can I play this many minions? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't have enough, I guess. Crap. Could steal one minion's attack. But I'm not sure if that's that's wise. Here it is. So use this to weaken enemies. Ah, this is so tough. 
Shouldn't use this, I suppose. Except if I play both of them. Let's try to virtualize more. Okay. Well, now we can definitely play them both and just use someone's ultimate, I guess, Galdeers. Hmm, that might actually enable us to play enough. Let's try it. So you virtualized, so front row, you go. Maybe here. I don't know, I want to protect Galdia, so here you go. Oh, first step. Um, let's continue with the second step. <laughs> I could have thought this through even longer and calculate if I can actually do it, but I guess it's okay. I'll just put this one here now, steal the attack. Just, uh, just in case. Might come in handy. That's a lot of damage we are getting through there. Um, and now use Galdia's ultimate to weaken these here. Um, and yeah, I should be able to do it. Cool, I can take them out. That's awesome. Ah, cool. Perfect. Uh, you're just cheaper. You're not virtualized, so... Here you go. The next one will be virtualized. And that is enough. So I could also put this one down here to protect my Tartalo. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> and some damage on top of that. Ah. For once it paid off to think a little bit. <laughs> ah, cool. Think we might win. Well, let's let's not celebrate prematurely. Let's see what they spawn. I can work with this, I think. We got the damage to get them out of the way. So that's good. Well, let's draw some stuff. Um, yeah. Looking good. <laughs> Got this. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. Huh. Nice. I forgot about that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's just end it like this here <laughs> and, and not think about uh, that mistake I just made. I, yeah, I was allowed to make that mistake, I suppose. This is still good enough. <laughs> uh, let's just stop playing cards when I already won. Yay, we did it. <laughs> ah, cool stuff. First, first try. Achievement unlocked. Hope of humanity. Victory and all that other stuff. I wonder what other is. Maybe... Maybe something from the question mark thingies. I don't know. Total earned 87 research points and we did it on the first try. 
I'm happy. That hasn't happened in a while. No, I don't want to try it now. Next week. Next against the moon day. Let's head to the lab and research. Mother Protector. Two damage to the arcs. Target Altari gain 6 HP. It's an upgrade of Protect Flash. Escalation. All creatures on tar target lane gain plus 3 attack until the end of the turn. I think I know what... Uh, yeah, it's an upgrade. Wait, no, I thought it was an upgrade of uh, this. Interestingly enough, it is seemingly not. Um, ooh, wait, all creatures? Nah, I think that's only my creatures. <laughs> Would be funny to also boost the enemies. Oh wait, uh, oh, oh well, I was gonna say, not oh wait, oh well, this is all right. Final research. Um, Wrath of the Goddess, deal five damage to the target creature, deal two damage to the arcs. Zero cost. Okay, nice upgrade. I like that, that might come in quite handy. Yep, yeah. well, we did it, I'm happy and hungry <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this short uh, I had fun I'm really really happy that we could do it on the first uh, first try uh, I'm also really happy that I didn't make any major mistakes it would have been so devastating if I had somehow managed to ruin it there at the end where I made that mistake but thankfully it didn't change anything in any major way um, so yeah, it worked out. I'm happy. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If that's the case, please uh, consider leaving a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already and maybe even write a comment down below telling me what you think about this video, about this game, about me playing this game, about um, your breakfast this morning. <laughs> I'm intrigued to find out what uh, what's on your mind right now. So yeah head down to the comments if you're willing to share something um yeah there will be more next week next against the moon day where we head into why, why does it say that difficulty number six is completed i know that it isn't well whatever next week we're gonna play this even if it already has a check mark i mean this was difficulty number five um, but still now i'm intrigued do we have already unlocked Mizun the Monstro? Let's find out. No, it's still locked. So the game is just slightly confused, but not majorly so. All right then, <laughs> now we know. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again next week. Until then, take care. Bye.